Okay, um, I guess I gotta watch what I say in this video. Man, oh man. Man. <laughs> I just can't believe what happened Wednesday. I can just, I just can't believe what happened Wednesday. What happened in the nation, the nation's capital, Washington. I mean, Trump's supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol. I mean, I saw I saw footage of them on YouTube. Um, I think on the PBS News Hour, they were climbing. One of them were climbing the um the U.S. Capitol building. Then I saw. Then, then they um, then they broke into the building. They was they smashed a window and got inside. Then they got got inside the U.S. Capitol, um. Taking pictures, I mean taking selfies, slash pictures with the police. Then one of them got into the U.S. Senate chamber. I mean the upper house chamber. Yeah, I saw them um, sitting sitting at, at a desk at the U.S. um in the, in the U.S. um Senate chamber, the the upper house chamber. Then there was some guy who was seen um had his feet on top of um Nancy Pelosi's um desk in in her office. In Nancy Pelosi's office, a guy. Had his feet on her desk, and I heard that um, one woman got killed. Then one guy got killed. Then a then a Capitol police officer got killed. I mean, it was just total mayhem, anarchy, chaos. I mean, I mean, the Trump supporters had a great time. They they had the time of their lives inside the inside the U.S. Capitol building, and it's crazy. Like the Capitol Police did absolutely nothing. Did nothing. <laughs> they did absolutely nothing. I mean. I mean, I mean, I saw the Trump supporters, you know, they were, yeah, they were jacking off as usual. I mean, jacking off to every word that Donald Trump was saying and the Capitol Police. I saw one video footage of them opening the gates and letting the Trump supporters head towards the U.S. Capitol building. They didn't, I mean, the, the I mean, the Capitol Police didn't stop them, didn't do nothing. I mean, they just shot um, tear gas and rubber bullets at him, I think. And he just, like, killed one woman who was who was one of the um, Trump supporters. I mean, and when the Trump supporters were inside the U.S. Capitol building, taking them, um, Taking pictures with the Capitol Police. I mean, the Capitol Police did nothing to the Trump supporters. Did nothing to them. Why? Because they were white. I mean, I had to bring race into this. I mean, double standards. I mean, jeez. I mean, double standards. I mean, I just can't imagine. I mean, if... if 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 the black life if the black life ma the the black life ma the <clears throat> excuse me i can't i can't imagine the black lives matter protesters which is a bunch of black people and some white people i just can't imagine if it if it was them who stormed the us capitol building i mean the capitol police would treat them differently i mean 
it'll be an it'll be an entirely different scenario. I mean, <laughs> they were like the Black Lives Matter protesters will probably be like <laughs> will probably be arrested one by one. They'll probably be shot and killed. I mean. I mean, the Capitol Police will probably like put their put their knees on the necks of these of these Black Lives Matter supporters and and kill them like um what like like what happened to um, George Floyd in Minnesota. That's what will happen. I mean, I mean, the Capitol Police w wouldn't like um do nothing and roll out the red carpet for the Black Lives Matter. No. They're not going to roll out the red carpet for them like they did did the Trump supporters. I mean Yeah, um Yeah, those Trump supporters, I mean they just like they um uh, they went way, way, way too far. I mean, I mean, they, I mean, I mean, the, after the after aftermath of all of this, I mean, they left like destruction, like broken glass doors, windows. I mean, the U.S. Capitol building was a mess. It was in, in disarray. It was a disaster. It was a mess, you know. And some brain dead American patriots, some some worthless um police officer in New York City, who's the chief of the pol who's the chief of police of the NYPD, um weighed in on weighed in on this. I mean, I think one um said that um. I think no, I think it was a, also a congressman, a, a Republican congressman. I heard that. What, what did he say? He said that uh, if you break if you um break break a window of a place and get inside, I mean, I mean it's all on you. You did this. I mean, first of all, um, Trump, Donald Trump, empowered his supporters. To storm the U.S. Capitol building. I mean, I mean, it all started. I mean, over over recording of Donald Trump trying to overturn um the election results to make him the winner and make Joe Biden the loser. Yeah, because of his um, claims of voter fraud over the um 2020 um presidential election. And it went from him um, having some lame ass, um, cheap ass um, um, rally in Washington, and it, and after that, um, yeah, he spoke. The, the president Donald Trump spoke, and after that, I mean, the mayhem and chaos of the Trump supporters um, storming the U.S. Capitol building began. I mean, you know, I almost say, you know, Donald Trump and his supporters are, are guilty of all this mayhem and destruction. And they are, you know. And Donald Trump said this. What did he say? Um, he said this. Oh, um, he taught the, he, 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 it was a message to his supporters. And Donald Trump said this to his supporters of, he talked about oh, he cared about them. He he said they're special and he loves them. The truth of the matter is Donald Trump doesn't give a rat's ass about anybody. He doesn't care. I mean <laughs> This guy don't give a damn about nobody. But himself, he's he's a narcissistic, racist piece of garbage. <laughs> That's what he is. 
He don't give a damn about his supporters who are just masturbating to every single thing that he says. I mean, oh my God, I mean, Trump support, Trump's supporters, I mean, they just, I mean, when they stormed the U.S. Capitol building and left that destruction and caused a lot of destruction, mayhem, and chaos, they were just jacking off turbo fast and it just went crazy they just lost it yelling and shouting rah, 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 rah. i mean th i mean that's what one of them one of the tr one of the um, supporters were doing that's what they were doing <laughs> god man After watching that, I mean, that just shows that <laughs> this country, the United States of America, is totally, totally fucked up. I mean, <laughs> it just shows just how messed up this country is. And it is, you know, and what those Trump supporters did at the U.S. Capitol building was wrong and you know i feel that they all should be punished for what they did i mean they should pay for what they did because because you know um they just they just ruined everything i mean they these guys just basically wiped their ass with the american flag total disrespect i mean yeah Total, total disrespect. I mean, and, and more on this, like, everybody who was, everybody who was part of um, Trump's, his min, Donald, Tr President Trump's um, administration, they left. I mean, they, they got out of his administration. They all quit and they left. Some of them said they, they just can't take much more of this anymore. Like, I heard, like, Bessie DeVos, who was just destroying them, the U.S. education system, she called it quits. I mean, the, trans, the, the Secretary of Transportation, who's married to this guy, we're going to um, make Donald Trump a one-term president. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That woman is married to um, Senator uh, Mitch McConnell. That guy. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Trump supporters are nothing more than domestic terrorists. That's what they are. I mean, yeah, and you know. After all this, like, most of them are arrested, and that's good. I mean, what they did was wrong. It was against the law, you know, and I um, heard that um, one of the people in Congress on Capitol Hill is going to um, pull out the um, 25th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution to see Donald Trump being impeached. And removed from office. Like. Why you need to do that? I mean. I mean. Joe Biden. Is going to be inaugurated. Is going to be inaugurated. I mean he's going to become the 46th president of the United States. I mean. Donald Trump is going to be. Kicked out of the White House over this. With this happening. Like. Why impeach him? Like. Doesn't make any sense. Like. I mean what's the point? I mean. I mean, I mean, Donald Trump's orange, fat, frail, wrinkled up, tan, skinned, fat ass has been voted out of office completely. I mean, during the presidential election, a clean, fair election. I mean, and all this mayhem that was caused, caused by those, caused by those, those, those Hicks, those country bumpkins, 
those rednecks who make up the Trump supporters. I mean, <laughs> I mean, those guys just, just, yeah, those guys just caused a lot of destruction. They were like fueled by Donald Trump to, to do all that mayhem, chaos, and destruction, and anarchy. Like, it was a freaking massacre on the entire country by the Trump supporters on the U.S. Capitol building. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're in countries, yeah, leaders in countries overseas like um I mean the prime minister of the UK Boris Johnson, I mean the the president of France Emmanuel Macron and German Chancellor Angela Merkel weighed in on the destruction caused by the Trump supporters in Washington. And, you know, and these three people were shocked at this, you know, and they were, yeah, <laughs> yeah, people in other countries are just shocked at this, you know, and, um, and, you know, people in France are probably kicking back, drinking wine and Perrier and watching all of this mayhem that, that took place Wednesday. Yeah, and they're, and they're thinking to themselves that, oh, man, I'm, the Americans, they are crazy. The Americans are crazy. Ugh. The Americans are crazy. They're crazy. Here's your Perrier. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. They're probably, yeah, they're kicking back, drinking Perrier and wine and just watching the Trump supporters jacking off and going crazy, buck wild crazy in the U.S. Capitol building. Yeah. Yeah, one of the French people probably laughing and, and seeing, seeing one of the Trump supporters, this guy doing this. Rah! 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 Trump. Trump is the man. You got cheated Trump out of the election. I'm going to steal some things. I'm going to loot everything. I'm going to steal everything out, out, out of Nancy Pelosi's office. Yeah, and the Trump supporters, like, they just, they just, like, looted and, and like, stole things out of the U.S. Capitol building. Like, they went in, they went inside the um, Nancy Pelosi's office, like, took some things out of her office. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Hope this video um makes it but makes it on my channel. Hope YouTube doesn't give me a community guideline strike. Cause you know um <laughs> this ain't misinformation, you know. I saw this. I mean You know um I mean, he's brain. I mean, one of those brain dead American patriots like um, Crusader Wolf, who I went back and forth on a YouTube video. Yeah, he talked about freedom and full freedom, and and telling me I need to respect the Constitution more because I called the the U.S. Constitution a piece of paper. I mean, the U.S. Constitution doesn't match up to how America is today. And, you know, and, and people like Crusader Wolf, these brain-dead, idiotic American patriots who talk about, um, these hardcore American patriots who talk about freedom. Like, how can you have freedom in America? You got, a, you got the prison industrial complex where you got like nearly like half of the population of this country locked up in prisons. Yeah. You got countries like Norway that, that that have less people in jail in America that has like way, way more people in jail. Like, yeah, no freedom of the press. How can you sit there and say America is free 
and you got stuff like this going you got stuff like this going on in America like it makes no logical sense it doesn't make any sense makes no sense it makes no sense uh. <laughs> yeah yeah this country it truly is a sinking ship a sinking sinking ship yeah so that's all I got to say in this video. You know, <laughs> it's like I'll be watching more and more and more of this aftermath on um, France 24 English, the PBS News Hour, um, and other media news outlets, um, independent media news outlets on YouTube. Okay, uh, that's all I got to say in this video. Oh, <laughs> this country, America, is the laughing stock of the world. This country is the laughing stock of the world. It's nothing more than one big crazy cartoon. All right, that's all I got to say. Bye. <laughs>